I will be covering three basic topics. The base camp management, I'll touch upon dashboards and club central. The hybrid meetings, I have a surprise because we will be actually conducting like a mini hybrid meeting in this session. Let's move on to the base camp. Those of you who are presidents and VP education and secretary, you must be already knowing that you are called the base camp manager. And what is a base camp manager? In reality, the VP education is the base camp manager, but because uh, there are so many tasks to be done and sometimes we need to share tasks, Toastmasters has determined that the president would sort of support the VP education in that task as a base camp manager. And the secretary will be also there as a backup. So the three people are the base camp managers. And what is it that you need to do as a base camp manager? First of all, let's log into our Toastmaster profile. I'm currently a VP education of one of the clubs that I belong to. If I were to Think about what are the things that I need to do as a VP education. First of all, I need to be familiar with the club central because that's where the heart of the system is, the club central. So if I go to leadership central and you go to club central, I am an XCOM member in three of the clubs of the six clubs that I belong to, but I have the VP education role only in this trainer's Toastmasters club. So let me log into that. From a base camp perspective, there are two things that are very important. I would say three things. The first thing you have to do now that you are the incoming base camp managers is first of all, go and check in the club central. What is the club contact information? Update it because besides getting prospects, those who want to join your club, Toastmasters uses this email to send out notifications whenever a member submits, levels, completions. In fact, when Pathways first started, this was the only email that used to send out this information. But recently, about a year ago, they have changed it so that VP Education will always get that notification, regardless of what email address is there. So the first thing I would suggest is that the you come here, update the club contact information, put the president's email perhaps, because he can monitor who's doing what, and save it. The next thing that we need to understand is the club roster. And what's interesting in the club roster from a VP education point of view, other than the members that are there who are enrolled into pathways. So when you look at the roster, you can identify if members are enrolled into pathways. And that way, as a base camp manager, when new members join, if they have not yet enrolled into pathways, you have not yet assigned a mentor to them, to work with them, to go through the pathways base camp, then this is your indicator to say, okay, I need to assign a mentor to this member so that he can sit together, they can run through the base camp, select a path. And once the path is selected, it will appear that they are enrolled into pathways. The next thing that we need to do is submitting the education awards. And this is one area which is become very confusing especially for a VP education, because what happens is that you have your base camp, people are completing levels, but unless you submit the awards in Club Central, it will not reflect in his education profile. But the problem is that these two are not connected at all, which means you can come to submit education award, you can select any member, submit an education award that he might have completed or not completed in base camp. So your job actually now becomes a little more complicated to track what the member has done in base camp. And then if the, assuming that the member is a member of only one club, then discuss with the member. Okay, you have completed the level. Shall we submit your award in club central? So this is a manual process that you all have to be aware about. Sometimes people are not aware that these two are disconnected. So when they complete a level, they automatically assume that in their profile, they will see that this person has completed the award. But no, once you complete it in uh, Basecamp, come to Club Central 
and assuming that the member wants to give that award to your club because if he's a dual member that's another story because he might say no i want to submit that award to my other club so then based on that decision based on that agreement you will submit the awards let me check if there are any questions how do you see which pathways a member is enroll in let's move on to that so let me log into basecamp because i am a basecamp manager i can go to basecamp currently my home club is set to a club that i am not a, a vp ad or a president or a secretary that's why i don't see an option to go to basecamp management i can only go to my own curriculum if i want to run basecamp manager activities i have to be logged into a club or my home club has to be set to the club that i am one of those roles so trainers club as i told you i am a vp education if i change that i get the option login to basecamp manager let's log into basecamp manager as a basecamp manager we have only two tasks to do one is whenever a member completes the levels they will submit i have completed a level and it will appear in your pending request you should first get an email saying a member has requested for level completion and when you log in to this you will get pending request as of now there are no pending request if there was it will come as a line here with a small tick mark if once you tick it then the level is completed of course the question you may ask is but kaji how do i simply click without validating how do i validate how do i know that the member has uh, completed his projects properly well that's another story for another day i think because in pathways there is no way to validate except by understanding if he is a member of your club what are the projects that he or she has delivered during the period and you have to track them yourself and based on that once the person has completed you will see okay that or he or she is eligible for completion and you will approve the level so that they can move to the next level but if the member is a member of dual clubs then you have to go by assuming that the person has done the projects if if you doubt it of course you can always communicate and say hey have you really done this project which club did you do it and then you will have that confidence to approve that level but it's more of a manual process but the heart of understanding what your members are doing is in this place called member progress when you first open it it might look uh, what am i doing here what is available to me how do i understand uh, what my members are doing and this is one of the i would say criticism that we have for pathways that it's not very intuitive you do need some training to understand how to make the best use of it and that's why i guess all of you are here today so those of you who are doing the base camp manager first time president or vp ad or secretary once you come to this option the easiest way for me to explain to you is to click on this option the profile it actually opens your profile but don't worry click on the profile and from there you get this option called view team and that's where the magic happens because when you click on view team you will get all your members from the club listed on the left hand side if you want to further investigate the status of that member what he is doing what she is doing click on the member's name and this takes you actually to the base camp profile of that member as you can see here this is not my profile this is the member's profile and from here i can check their paths and learnings what is it that they are doing so i can see that this person is currently doing a mentoring program active but let me see if they have completed any paths so i select this option and select completed and i can see that this member has done dynamic leadership strategic relationship that means the member has already completed two paths let me go back to the profile team and this is the other part of the equation sometimes you will see some members and you might not see some of your members listed here there are two possibilities one is that the member has not enrolled into pathways and you know where to go and check that if you go to the club roster you know that the member is enrolled or not and if the member is enrolled you should find the name here the other possibility is that the member is a member of dual clubs and they have changed their home club to some other club 
So if the home club is not your club, you will not see the member. And that can be a quite a challenge sometimes because you want to manage, you want to check what the members are doing. You know they are members of your club, but still you can't see them. And you know they have enrolled into Pathways. So you know that they have changed the home club to some other club. Let me check the profile of Priscilla, my wife. What is she doing? Let's check. I can see that she's doing engaging humor. Has she completed any paths? Click on completed paths. Yes, she also has done two paths. In fact, she is due for her distinguished Toastmaster. She has completed all the requirements. And the only reason she has not submitted a DTM application is she wants to do it in the first week of July so that the award that she will get as a DTM will be applied to her club as uh, one of the goals of the club because they have already become pre uh, president distinguished this year. And that is another story because sometimes members complete their levels, but strategically they might decide, I don't want to submit it in this year. Is it right or wrong? I don't know, but that's what most members do because they look at it not only for their own gain, but the gain of the club. If you look at the active uh, parts, engaging humor, let's see where my wife has reached in her humor level. Has she reached level five? Is she really funny? So I can open the curriculum and see that, oh, she's still at level. So I have to wait for some more time to have a good laugh. So we can see that she has completed level one, 25%. If I click view details, I can see that she has done only the icebreaker project. So this is the way to do a member by member analysis. Very simple. Click on the profile, click on the team, select the member, and you can investigate the level, the path that they are uh, at. And one more thing that you can do as a Basecamp manager is that when you look at any member and you look at their paths and learnings, and let's say you want to check the completed projects, let's say presentation mastery, and let's say we have level five or any of the level that are completed as a Basecamp manager, you have the ability to print a certificate for them. And we used to do this when we were meeting in person, we used to print the certificates and present them during the meeting as appreciation from the club. Basecamp manager, the VP education used to print it, then give it to the president. And at the end of the meeting, we used to hand out the certificates saying, hey, congratulations for completing your levels. The other thing that you can do in Basecamp as a manager is, let me go home, member progress. So if you want to look at the entire club as a dashboard, like who has done what, then we have this different dashboards available to us. For example, level completion, you want to know which member has completed what levels. We can do that. Select one of the options and it will show you levels recently completed on Basecamp. If you want to see the updated details, click on the refresh button. And it will take some time to refresh. As you can see at the bottom, it says refreshing now. And it will give you the details of all the members who have completed their levels. If you click on this individual progress, it shows you, for example, all your members and at which level they are. Similarly, you can click on this arrow here, check the details, and it will give you all the details of the member, what they have completed. If you want, you can also export it to Excel and then do further analysis. So this is essentially as a Basecamp manager, all that we do, we approve and then we monitor. And there are different ways to monitor as I've shown you individually or as a group.